Catapult draw length, what is it? How do you measure it? How long should your active band length be? How do I get the best out of my bands? How do I get the best performance? Are they too long or they too short? Well, this video, we're going to sort it. It's a frequently asked question. It's basically your draw length is from the tip of your fork to where you're anchored to. So in my situation, my draw length is from this bit here to this bit here. And that is my draw length. How do you measure it? Well, it couldn't be no simpler. Tape measure, <laughs> basically. Hold the tape measure like you're going to be shooting it. Pull back. Whatever mark is here on the tape is my draw length. And it is bang on 80 centimetres my draw length. So you've got your draw length. How do you work out how to get your bands working exactly the way you want them? This is my own personal catapult. When you pull back with this, as you can see, there's no more give there. I can really not pull them back anymore. The pouch would break before I pull them back anymore. So this is set up absolutely spot on for me. Now what isn't set up right is this one. This would be no good for me. If I pull back, anchor, I like that. But as you can see with this one, it comes well back past, almost semi-butterfly style. So if I was anchoring and shooting from there, I would be losing all this power. And that's not what you want to do. Now there are a few ways to find out exactly how long your active band length should be. Active band length is when it's unstretched from the corner of the pouch there to the fork tip. That's your active band length. As I said again, your draw length is from when you stretch it out from this point to this point. Active band length is that, and obviously that's too long for me as I just showed you when I draw back. That active band length on that catapult is well too long. If you compare that to my personal one, you can see this is my right active, this isn't. So how do you find out your active band length for what it should be? Well, there's an easy way really. You can get yourself your naked band set, grip the pouch, and just pull it back like that. See, I'm still going too far there, so grip the bands there. Which looks about the same length as I should be for me. Pull it back. Basically, mark the bands up there, put them on the fork tips. That's one way to do it. But there's a lot of ways to do it, and a lot of people argue either dividing it somewhere in between 5.5 and 6. So you get your draw length, which is 80, from anchor point to fork. Get your calculator, trusty bit of kit. This this is a more precise way instead of guesswork. You nobody wants to be guessing and marking. So I'll type in. 80 divided by, we'll start with 5.5, that's what I like to work with for Ferroband. And that gives me 14.5 centimetres. And these bands on here are 14.5 centimetres. And that's the simplest way to do it with Ferroband anyway. Some tubes do vary, but the way rubber stretches, it's all give or take 5.5 to 6. That's what you divide, you draw length by for your active band length. And that will mean then that when you are drawing back, you are getting sufficient stuff out of the bands, you're not wasting none, you won't be using as much ferroband, it'll work out cheaper if you do it right, and that is exactly how you work it out. So I hope this has helped you, because if you get these right, this active band length, that's what your active band length is from pouch to fork tip, you're going to be shooting with full power. I'll say it again, just to get the point across, pull this one back, and I'm maxed out there, these bands are stretched, they're going to be shooting pretty much as fast as they possibly can. These ones, however, well too long. If I'm anchoring to there, I'm losing probably 40, 50 FPS by using these bands instead of them ones for shooting the same, just because they're too long. So uh, yeah, I hope that worked, helped you um, sort it out. It's a frequently asked question. I said I'd get it sorted for you. Uh, rule of thumb is I'd say, find your draw length, fish bash from where you do, as I say, mine's 80. Divide that on your phone or a calculator or if you're clever enough in your head, by 5.5 or 6, and that will give you roughly well, that'll pretty much give you bang on what you want your active band length to be. An active band length is from the fork tip to the pouch, that bit. Um, you can divide it by a smaller number so you get a bit longer, because I have my bands. These are stretched out now. There's a slight bit of give. I'd say these are probably when I'm shooting 95 to 98% stretched, if you know what I mean. There's really not much more. A couple of percent more, probably. Some people only like to shoot bands at... 80-85% because they last a bit longer but you're losing power and I'm a big fan of performance. What's the, how long does it take to make a band set? A couple of minutes? Why jeopardise you know, speed, power, 
elevation and all that just to get an extra few shots. Ferroband's pennies, if you make the band sets yourself, they cost about 10 15 pence each. There's nothing to them. But, you know, some people do like it, so when they draw it, I can come back to it and then anchor. It gives them a little, you know, a bit more play, if you know what I mean. I don't like that personally, because I do a lot of hunting as well. I have to have my PPMG bad boy ready. Nice wide bands, maxed out all the way. So, one last time, and I've said it a few times, but the more times I say it, the more it'll get through. You draw length, he's from there to there. Measure that. Divide it by around 5.5 or 6. Once you've made a band set, you'll work out which one you prefer. And like I say, some tubes and latex does stretch slightly different, but roller form is by 5.5 or 6. You divide it, you make your band set, you put it on, your active band length will be what your draw length is divided by 5.5 or 6 and you set up, it's as simple as that, it's, you know, a lot of people get confused but, but once you've got your measurements, once you've done it once and worked out all oh, my active band length needs to be 14.5 centimetres, that'll be in your head for life, then every time you make a band set or put it on you'll be like, oh, it's got to be 14.5 centimetres from there. It helps with consistency, it makes you a better shot. As I say, you could just go the old fashioned way, which a lot of people do, get your band set, <laughs> grab it, and when you think it's near enough, max mark it up. But um, for the sake of five minutes, you'll have yourself a measurement then for life. There'll be no more worrying that they're too long or they're too short or my losing power. Measure your draw length, divide it by 5.5 or 6. Get your active band length from the fork tip to the pouch. Jobs are good done. I hope that helps you anyway. Thanks all. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, any more how-to vids, just fire them away. 